Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today um, I thought I'd do a what's in my changing bag video. I love watching these videos, it's always so interesting to see what people have people have got in their bags. Um, I would do a handbag one but being a mum I don't have a handbag. So let's get started and I'll show you what we've got in our changing bag. So this is my bag, it's um, from Baby Mill London. Um, I really like this bag because it's actually a bit of a claim. <laughs> Um, I really like this bag um, because I wanted something that was um, quite plain and understated. When I was looking for changing bags, I hated the ones that had all the bright colours and the babyish patterns on them. I wanted something that's quite understated and that if I had to take it out or hold it, with, if I wasn't with Jessie, then it wouldn't necessarily look like a changing bag. So yeah. So it's got loads of compartments and it's got this bit at the front which I pr pretty much put all my little bits and pieces into. Um, it's got a pocket at the side yeah, and that's an insulated pocket as well so you can put any hot bottles or warm bottles in there and they'll stay warm for a little while. And then inside it's got loads of different little compartments um, just to put your stuff. So I usually just put my nappies and bits in here and any loose bits there and then here's clothes and stuff in the main bit. Um, also I really like this long strap. Um, it's really good to put on the handles of your pushchair um, but I like to also if make it a bit longer and then you can put it on as a crossbody and have it like that. I like that it's got these short handles as well that I can pull it through my arm so like I said if I'm going out without Jessie you know well, I don't know why I would bring this if I was going out without Jessie but if I needed to hold it it doesn't necessarily look like a changing bag which I really like. So I haven't really looked in here to see what's in here, so we'll go through it together and see what we find. Okay, so if we start at the front, so the first thing is Jessie's little teething toy. I think I got this from Jojo Bibi, if that's how you say it. It's called a Matchstick Monkey and he absolutely loves this um, because it's got the bristles on there. So I think it really massages his gums and it's good to put a bit of teething cream on there as well if he needs it. And I think it's a good start for a toothbrush as well. So yeah, I'd highly recommend that. Next up is my notebook. Um, I take my notebook everywhere with me. It's just so I can make lists of shopping lists and what needs to be done. You can see that it's just all been scribbled out basically. Um, yeah, and I love these little notebooks. I love the ones that always have something positive on the front. So this one says, always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. And I love that. And this is only two pounds for the work, so it's really good value for money, and they last me ages as well. So, yep, my notebook. Next up is some Nivea sun cream for Jessie. Factor 50, always important. A receipt from Tesco for some king prawns and a banana. That was for my lunch yesterday. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Some Dentinox teething gel. That's Looks like it may have actually leaked. Ugh. Let's get that cleaned up. Cheese! Got some change. And a lipstick. It's YSL. It's a little tester one actually. Um, and it is this colour. Lovely nice red colour. Which is in... Which is called Rouge Percouture. It's lovely. I always like to carry around a lipstick with me just so I can touch up my makeup and stuff. So that's the front pocket all done, nothing left in there. It's delved inside. <sighs> Baby wipes. Nappies. I've actually started using these um, pull up nappies now that Jessie's a bit more mobile and he just flips everywhere. I have started to use these pull up nappies but I don't think I really like them very much, they leak pretty quite easily. So I think I'm just gonna go back to normal nappies for a little while and maybe use these when he gets a little bit older. So let's have a look. Uh, spoon, just in case I need to feed Jesse while he's out. Thumb cream, and this is the Metallium Everyday. Very ointment for everyday nappy change. And I like this, I like the stuff, the ones that are really thick. I don't like the ones that are quite thin and oily. I just think they, you just, yeah, I just don't like them. Uh, change of clothes. So we have extra pair of socks. Some, um, what do you call them, flannels or washcloths. 
These are really cute. My sister-in-law got me these. I love the little pattern on them. Um, some bibs. And actually, these bibs are really good. They're, called, they're from um, a little company called Frank, Frankie and Lola. And um, they're really nice and soft. And they've got a nice little flannel back as well. And um, they're really good value. They're like £2.50 each. Or you can get five for a tenner. So I always get big batches of them. Because they do, they, they, like any bibs, they do get stained. And they do get a bit scruffy. But five for a tenner, you can't really moan about. So I'll link her down below and you can go and check her out they're really good. What else have we got? We have sleep suit, um, leggings, oh I've actually been looking for these everywhere, I thought I'd lost these, ah, just been in there. Jessie doesn't tend to need changing too much while we're because we don't never really go too far so when I put stuff in this bag it saves me for absolute ages. <laughs> And a t-shirt. Pretty much everything. He probably needs a vest or two in there as well, just in case. Because now my luck, he'll need to be changed. I need any of that. We need a vest. Um, more nappies. Dirty. Wet wipes. They need to go in the bin. Changing mat. This came with the uh, the bag. Oh, it's a pretty standard one, but it comes in handy when there's not a suitable place to put him on, as a surface to put him on either. It's about to, although I do find this is quite bulky and sometimes it takes up a lot of room in the bag and I am quite tempted to take it out sometimes but like I said it's good just in case there's not a suitable surface to put him down and it's just nice to put that down for him. My purse! So my, this is um, a River Island purse, my sister bought me this for my birthday a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's going quite strong really. It's still got a bit of life in it, I think. So in here we've just got my card, bank card, Tesco card. We've got some vouchers for boots, which I would definitely be using. I think I cleaned this out the other day, so there's not really much in it, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, and more vouchers, and that's pretty much it. Don't disappointment. So yeah, yeah, I really like it. It's got loads of compartments in it as well. So as you can see, there's loads of room for your cards. Um, change, I usually put my notes in here as well. And then there's a compartment at the back as well, which I just put all like your miscellaneous stuff, the stuff that I might think I might need, but don't use on a regular basis. And to be honest, I hardly ever go into this bit. <laughs> so yeah, it's really nice. And I don't think I'll need one for a little while yet. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Compartment. Uh, sun cream, so this is the sole term once um, in 15 that's for me. I love this stuff because you've only got to put it on once and it lasts for 8 hours and yeah, pretty much the whole day. So, yeah, I always use this. Brush for Jesse, some more spoons, and the cream. He seems to be getting a lot of spots on his face lately, so I've been using the pseudo, putting the pseudo cream in it, and obviously for his bum as well, I think he needs it on his bum. Um, yeah, but I don't really know what it is. He keeps getting loads of different spots on there, and one once one comes, one once goes, another one pops up. So I think I might have to take him to the doctor for about that. Um, but if anyone knows of what it might be, pop me a comment down below. That'd be really appreciated. And I think that is about it. It is empty, and I don't think I've got anything in the side pocket. That's just for bottles. No, nothing in the side pocket. Um, so that's what I've got in my changing bag. I really hope you like this video. Um, if you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And we'll see you next time. The Saturday Vlog will be up on Monday as usual. So we'll see you then. Bye.